Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative with another Divi tutorial. And today I have another one for the Divi blog module. I'm going to show you how to style and customize the pagination. So by default, the pagination is really terrible. It looks, it just looks really bad and it doesn't work very well. So I'm going to show you how to style it. And then I'm going to show you how to make an advanced pagination where you have like the numbers uh, where you can click the numbers and then click next or last and things like that. So I'm really excited about this. This is a major improvement to the Divi blog module. So let's take a look, see how to do it. All right, so we are going to cover two methods of adding pagination to the Divi blog module. And we're, we're going to show you how to customize and style those next and previous buttons. And then we're going to show you how to use the WP page navi plugin which adds an advanced pagination which i really like in fact i'll show you that on our blog when we get to that so that's what we use on our site all right so basically um the first thing is just to turn on pagination and and then you know make some minor adjustments so let's do that i'm over here in my demo i have a blog module and this is the one we've been using in this blog tutorial series. So I already have the button styled and and just, you know, that was from another tutorial. But I have four blog posts here, and that's kind of important because the number of blog posts is relevant to your pagination. So right now, if I go under Elements right here and I turn on Show Pagination, that's kind of the first step here. But you'll notice nothing really happens. That's because up under content, the number of posts here, the count, is just, I have it at the default 10, so it would, it would, I would need to have 11 or 12 to show the pagination. So I'm going to change that to a lower number, like three, and then the pagination shows up. And right now, um, the only thing that's really showing up is the it says older entries now if i had you know like if i had a bunch of these blog posts and i was clicking through here there would be one over on this side that said newer entries i think so basically it's just older and newer now in the in the module there are some design settings so under under blog you know the blog module design and then let's see pagination text right here so here you can change the font and, you know, the font weight and the color, text, you know, all the normal stuff, but you're, you're really limited. I mean, it doesn't treat it like buttons. It's kind of similar to the read more button, you know, it, the same exact thing. So we're going to style it the same way. I thought that'd be cool. So if you're on YouTube, make sure you're opening the blog post and that's where the snippets are. So go over here. We are going to just copy all of this and then I'll show you what it is. So we're going to copy the CSS under this here about the Divi blog pagination. And then I'm going to put it in my page settings temporarily while we work so you can see it. Now I already have the code in here, like I said, for the read more button. And I have, I have this code already matching from the previous tutorial. So there you can see the, the button became blue. In fact, let's just take a look here. So I have pagination, um, a line left and a line right. So it's basically targeting this left button and this right one. So the older entries and newer entries that would show up here. And then I'm saying color white. That's the text color. Background is this blue. I have a two pixel solid border blue. Then I have my padding, my border radius to make the, make it rounded. And then I'm saying to capitalize the words, and then the transition for when we hover, it does that. When we hover, the background's transparent, and then the color of the text turns blue. All right, that's all I'm doing. Um, and that just, you know, that makes it look so much better. You know, these links, or turning them into links rather than, or sorry, turning them into buttons rather than just text links. So it's kind of really similar to what we did with the read more button. Um, in fact, like I said, the same type of, of styling and go ahead and change that. You know, maybe you want these square or change your borders, change your background colors, whatever. Um, you'll just keep the main things to so change 
change a couple of those items. Now, this is fine, but if you want to have advanced pagination like our blog, I'll show you that. So here we are on pacreative.com slash blog, and we have our search and categories, but down here below all the blog posts, I think I'm showing, I don't know, 12 or 15 here. But here you can see I have these numbers and stuff, and it says page one of eight, you know, that'll keep changing. It'll show, I can hover over this and click on, on two, and then it will load, you know, the second batch of that many posts. So uh, if it was 12 or 15, it'll load another batch. And then you can click on the last. Um, you can just click this to go to the next one or the previous one. So it's really nice. Um, and the, the cool part is it's so easy to get this. You just install a plugin. So I'm going to show you. It's called WP Page Navi. It's right here. In fact, this is how it looks when you search for it in the WordPress repository, in the plugin repository. So just go over there. I'll show you that real quick. If you were going to your plugins, click on Add New. And then it's kind of a tricky one. You have to type it in exactly right or it will not come up it's kind of funny so wp dash page navi and it's this one here with this black like sign so go ahead and install that one and you, there's no settings you just install it okay so i'm going to do that okay so i have it activated now i need to refresh my page here so i can get that to show up for you and there you go that's how it looks when you install and activate the plugin. So right now it just has a little bit of default styling. And this actually it might remind you of how, I think it's the gallery module in Divi, how it kind of works. It has like a um, that ugly line and then, you know, the numbers here. So we are going to style this with another snippet and make it match the styling here. All right, so go over to the blog post again. Let's go down here and this time let's grab this snippet and it's obvious it's the second one so I kind of have both of them on the on the post here but you can see it's the one below the WP page navy here so copy that let's go back in here into our page settings for our temporary CSS location um, and you can just leave that there for now but we don't need both if we're in the you know we're using this now so you you watch what happens um, and then I'll explain the code there it is and just look how nice that looks I just think it's beautiful um, <laughs> I still uh, so let's let's take a look at what we just did so the first section here WP page navy a which is you know the link and then span that's targeting um, all of, like the text the, the page one of two and then the one two and any other numbers that you'll have on your site. So we're saying the color should be black. That's that and that. And then we're saying the background should be this like real light gray. You can see it right there on the number two in the next arrow. It's like a light gray. And then we're just saying the font size, line height, font weight, padding, border radius, and a little transition because for a hover effect. The next set here says WP page navy span dot current and that's this blue one so whichever one is current now if I click on two then two will be highlighted blue for current and we have it color white and background blue alright so it's the same thing for hover see how I hover there and it turns blue that's this next section here so when I hover over a link I'm setting what I want it to do and, and you can change this maybe you want to have a border um, that background is clear, you know, transparent with a border. Maybe you want it square or just a little bit rounded. Whatever you want to do, feel free to customize this. This is a really good base for you. And then um, a couple more here yet. The WP page navy and then dot pages. That's this here, page one of two. And basically, we're just removing the background. Um, if if I didn't have that, I'll show you. See how it puts the. Um, that gray that light gray there which we assigned but i just don't want it on that on those on this right here the page one of two i don't want it there so that's why i'm saying that and the last one is removing the border and centering it so i'll just show you that remember the little border there it is 
Okay, we're removing that. And then text align center, and I'll I'll remove that, and it's over there. And and you may you may want that. In fact, let's just I haven't tried this. Let's say left. Okay. There, you may want it on the left. <laughs> so that's how that works. You know, you're saying you're targeting basically the entire thing and removing that border and then aligning it. So I'll just say center. Um, either way, I think it looks I think it looks fine either place. But there you go. That's how you do it. Um, I just think it looks great. I, I really do. Um, it's a dramatic improvement, and the plugin is simple. The, the WP Page Navi, you know, don't worry about adding a plugin. It's really simple and light, and um, it's just, yeah, I think it's, I think it's great. Um, hopefully, you do too. I'd love to see, you know, what you guys make of this, how you design this and style it. Um, let me know how that goes and what you want to see next as far as the blog tutorials. All right, so there you go. That's how you style and customize the Divi blog pagination. I hope you like that. And, you know, I, I really like how it turned out. I really do. I think it's a really beautiful way to allow the visitors to navigate through your blog posts. So if you like this type of thing, let me know. And um, please let me know what you want to see in the Divi blog series. And maybe I can get to it. All right. We'll see you in the next video.